Hello everyone, my name is Casey Wiley. I'm here to talk to you guys about serverless deployments and take you through a lab. The purpose of this lab is to show you guys how they do a blue-green and a canary deployment in serverless. It's a little bit different than how you would do a standard blue-green or canary deployment in Kubernetes due to the fact that in Knative, you're really updating the service. So before we really dive into this, I kind of want to clarify that point. Every time you update a service in Knative or in serverless, you create a revision. And those revisions can be tagged. And that is how we are actually going to go about doing our blue-green and canary deployments. So let's go ahead and get started. This lab is designed for OpenShift 4.5. Okay, so we're gonna start by downloading the KN tool. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to clone this repository from GitLab, okay? Now that I've downloaded this deployments repository, I'm gonna change directories into that directory. So here's where we really start with the serverless or the Knative uh, parts of this. So the first thing we're gonna to need to do is we're going to need to install the serverless subscription. Uh, the subscription is called operator subscription and it's in the deploy folder. I'm just gonna say OC apply dash F for file, deploy, which is the name of the folder and operator subscription. So I can see the subscription has been created. The next thing we're gonna to have to do in order to use Knative serving is we're gonna to need to install the Knative uh, serving operator. This operator uh, is expecting to be installed in the Knative serving namespace. So I'm gonna go ahead and create that for it. I'm gonna say OC new projects, Knative serving, enter. So now that this has been created, I'm going to go ahead and apply the file that has my uh, Knative serving operator in it, great. Okay, so now that I've applied this file, we're gonna go ahead and check the, the running pods that are in this Knative serving namespace. So I'm gonna say OC get pods dash in Knative. And what I'm really looking for here is I want to make sure that all these pods have a status of running. I want that also the ready status to say one of one. Now I see uh, all the pods in the Knative namespace are actually ready. So that means I can move on. My, uh, my cluster is ready for Knative serving. The way that I'm going to go about teaching you how to do a blue grain deployment and how to do a Canary deployment in Knative is with a very simple Node.js application. This application has just one endpoint, which is a get for greets. Um, and what it's going to do is depending on the environmental variable language, it's going to give you a response. If the environmental variable language is set to ES, capital ES that is, it's going to return hola. If it's not set to capital ES, it's going to return hello with an exclamation point. So it's very, very simple application. Now, the reason behind that is because when we do our blue-green deployments as well as our canary deployments, it's going to be very easy to distinguish whether we have the blue or the green version. Okay, so now we're actually going to look at deploying this little node uh, application with one endpoint, that greet endpoint. And the way we're gonna do that is by first creating a namespace called the greeter namespace. Um, and that's just going to kind of keep all our work instead of that greeter namespace. So we're gonna say OC create namespace greeter namespace. Now that that's created, the next step is actually deploying a Knative service. So what I've done so far before this lab is I, I dockerize my, my little node app um, and then I push it to Quay. So the method I'm gonna use for deploying this Knative service is I'm going to say KN service create. I'm gonna specify the name of the service I'm gonna create, which is gonna be called greeter service. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say image and give the location of this image. So as I said earlier, this image is already in Quay. So I'm saying Quay.io, I'm specifying my username, and now I'm giving the name of the image. So this is how uh, Knative Serving is gonna find that image. Next thing I'm gonna do is give it an auto scale window of 10 seconds. The reason I'm giving it an auto, or what really, what this means is the auto scale window, um, what it does is, if there has been no more network requests within 10 seconds for this greeter service, 
or KSVC. Sometimes Knative services are called KSVCs. But if there has been no more network requests for a greeter service in 10 seconds, it's going to go ahead and scale itself back down to zero automatically. And now the last thing I'm going to do before I deploy this Knative service is give it the namespace of greeter namespace. So again, I'm saying Knative service create. I'm specifying the name of this Knative service, in this case, greeter service. Seeing the image, I'm specifying where it can find that image. And then I'm giving it an auto scale window of 10 seconds and then giving it the namespace. So what this is, what's doing, what's going on right here is Knative is actually creating this service. Once this service has been created, it's going to give us a URL where we can actually access this service. And we're going to actually test this by looking at that greet endpoint from the URL and making sure that we get hello back. Uh, another thing I wanted to point out, when we were creating this service here, we have specified no environmental variable called language. So due to that, I expect us to see hello if we curl against this URL. So before we move on, let's go ahead and curl against this URL. Flash greets. And let's see if we get hello back. Hello. Great. So this is exactly what we expected. Do this one more time because it could have been a little small. Okay, hello, hello, hello. It gets hello. That's what we are definitely expecting to see. Again, just to point out, when you do this knative service create command, it does actually give you the URL where you can access uh, this knative service. So for the next part of the lab, I'm going to go over some very useful knative commands that you're you're definitely going to need to remember these. Uh, the first one is called Knative Service List, and then I'm going to give it the name of the service, the specific service that I want to check out. Um, in our case, we only have one service. It's called Greeter Service, and I'm also going to give it the namespace I wanted to look in. So I'm going to say Knative Service List Greeter Service Namespace Greeter Dash NS for the Greeter Namespace. So after, um, after initializing this command, I'm getting back the name of the service, which is greeter service, the URL from which I can actually access this service from, this, uh, this title latest, which is actually the name of the latest revision, then the age, the conditions, and then the ready state. And let's say some of these conditions were, were not OK. Um, there could be a reason for a failure here. That would be the other thing for this reason. So briefly, I said, when we're doing blue-green deployments and when we're doing canary deployments in serverless, we actually just simply update. We're going to be updating our greeter service. Every time we update that greeter service, we're going to get a new revision. So currently, we only have one revision, and the latest revision in this case, by default, the latest visions tag the latest, which is very obvious. But just pointing that out there because we're going to use that later. But by default, this revision is called greeter service YMT LH-1. OK, so now let's get into something that's extremely important um, in Knative, one of the most important concepts, which is the concept of the revision. We're going to issue a command to Knative that says KN revision list and we're going to give it the namespace greeter ns. So we, I'm telling uh, my cluster to give me a list of all the revisions in greeter namespace. As you can expect, this may not be the most helpful command right now because we only have one revision because we simply deployed our greeter service and have not done any updates to it yet. But in the future, as you can imagine, when we have these revisions, we're going to be able to tag those revisions. And then when we tag those revisions, we can tag them as a green revision or a blue revision. And then later on, even shift traffic towards those tags. So for now, all we're really worried about is just getting a list when we say Knative revision list, giving it the namespace, greater namespace. So what do I have here? I have the name of the latest revision, which we just saw. I have the name of my service. I have the traffic splits. In this case, 100% of the traffic 
is going to this revision. I have tags, which I haven't tagged it at all yet, but we can assume it's probably the latest tag. And then generation, which kind of uh, has to do with the uh, with the revision I'm on. So the generation is one by default. So if we if I uh, if I update this service, it will be regeneration two. Okay, and we already we already know conditions has to do with the health. It's ready state's true, but there could be a reason that the ready state was not true. Okay, so the next command we're going to issue is we're going to say kn service describe. We're going to describe the greeter service and the namespace greeter namespace. This is going to give us a, a little bit more of a robust view of what's going on with our greeter service. A little different view as well. We see the name greeter service. We see the namespace in the greeter ns. We see the URL where this uh, service can be accessed. Now we see the revisions, right? We see 100% of the traffic flow is going to this. And now we see a tag, right? I said by default, latest is, the t uh, is what your latest revision is tagged as. So this has the tag of latest. It has the name of the revision. It even has the location of the image, which is very nice. Then it has more information about these uh, conditions down here. Great. OK, so now the next part of this is me simply, I'm going to curl against my greeter service, against the greet endpoint, and I'm just going to expect to see hello with an exclamation point returned to me. And I'm going to actually copy this command. I'm doing this interactively uh, with you guys right now, but when I wrote this lab, I wanted to make it extremely simple for you. So I'm going to kind of break down this command and what's happening. I'm saying curl against knative service list greeter service in the namespace greeter namespace. Then I'm going to use the awk command. I'm looking for the second row in the second column. So let's go ahead and look at what this awk command is actually returning for us. Knative service list greeter service namespace greeter namespace. And I'm looking for the second row, so greeter, and then the second column. So all this awk command is really doing is returning this link right here, and then it's appending greet to it. So it's just a really easy and quick and quick and dirty way, if you will, to get this URL without having to go and search for it. Okay, and I wanna see hello back. If I see hello back, that's exactly what we expected. And look, there it is. Hello, and I apologize for the size of the font here. But simply copy and paste that and that'll work for you. All right, so the next part of this uh, lab we're gonna look at is we're gonna do a blue-green deployment. And remember, we're going to actually update our greeter service in order to do this. The first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna list the, the services. Or actually, I'm sorry, that's not true. We're going to look at the greeter service because we're going to say knative service list, and then we're going to specify the actual name of the service that we want to see. Just as a refresher, we see what we have here, right? This is our, 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 our service that we have, the URL where it's accessible, the name of it, and then the name of the latest tag. The next thing that we do here is we're going to create a green deployment. So typically when you do a new deployment in Kubernetes, you're actually going to release a deployment beside. You're going to create a new deployment. In Knative, that's not necessary because we can say Knative service updates. We're going to give the name of the service we're updating, which is the greeter service. We're specifying the namespace, greeter namespace. But this time what we're doing is we're going to specify an environmental variable, language. We're setting this environmental variable to ES. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to give it a tag. We're going to tag this. So, and this can get a little confusing, so I'm going to explain this. We're going to tag the very first version as blue, right, which currently is latest, and we're going to tag this next version as green. And then we're going to shift 100% of the traffic to the blue version and 0% of the traffic to the green version. So I got a little tongue tied there, 
I want to explain that one more time. We are going to tag the very first version as blue and the latest version as green. So by default, when we update this greeter service, it's going to have a tag of latest. And we're going to go ahead and call that latest version green, right? And we're going to shift 100% of the traffic to blue and 0% of the traffic to green. And why would we do this? Why do we even like bother ourselves and, and create a new uh, or update this service? Well, let's say that we have a new feature that we're not fully ready to let our users see. So we don't really want our users to, to see this version yet. We just want the people that have the correct URL for it to be able to see it. Another thing, what's going on here is we're getting the actual name of the first uh, of the greeter services tag right now, of the greeter services revision tag. So when I say Knative service list greeter service in the namespace greeter namespace, remember what it's going to give me, it's going to give me a column header that says latest. And we're going to actually pick out from that column header latest the name there, and that's actually the name of that revision. So currently the name of this revision, let's just look at it, let's execute this. What this command does is it gives you the name of the current revision, okay? And we're gonna tag that revision as blue. So the original revision will be tagged as blue. As we've updated our service, we're going to get a, a new URL. We're going to use the Knative revision list in the namespace greeter namespace. And, we're and we should see two this time. Okay, so this is where things get a little bit interesting, I'd say. We now have two revisions. We have one service, but we have two revisions. They have a tag, right? This tag, uh, the original, which we just kind of opt out over here, we discussed is blue. This latest is called green, but it has 0% of the traffic uh, that's going through there. So here's something that's really cool, in my opinion, about Knative. So we are going to be able to access this green version uh, by actually prefixing the version name with a dash. So if we say green dash greeter service dot greeter namespace dot app, we're gonna actually get to see that. So when I initially wrote this, you're gonna see like this CRC, I, I was using code ready containers. Um, this time I'm actually in the cluster right now. Um, again, we can say the tag dash and then the name of the service right and that's how we're going to be able to actually uh, access this so what we're going to do right now is we are going to curl against the green version um, and what we should expect is uh, we should expect to see hola return to us curling against the new version with the environmental variable language as es and we receive an hola so i just want to show you this one more time right I'm going to say Knative, and I'm going to do it without awk. Knative service list, and get the greeter service, and the namespace, greeter namespace. So I'm copying this URL, right? I'm going to say curl HTTP green. I'm using the green tag because that's what I want to access, because I cannot access this by default, because it's receiving 0% of the traffic. So uh, tag name of the revision dash, the rest of the URL, and now I'm gonna say greet. And I should see hola back. So that is how you can access this uh, new green version of our updated Knative service. Okay, so great. We just did a blue-green deployment. Um, pretty obvious how uh, that works. I guess with uh, with Knative because you're simply updating the same service, and then again, once you update that service, at each time you update a service, you're going to get a new revision, and then once you actually tag that revision, giving it a kind of a tag name, you're able to access the specific revisions by the URL prefixed by the tag name and dash. Right, that's how we did that right here. We wanted the green version and then dash. So that's great. We have just did our blue-green deployment, but we all know on a real customer site, we don't, just because everything seems to be working, it's still kind of a risk to go ahead and put 100% of your traffic on a version. We kind of want to roll out our, our new uh, version a little slower. 
So we're actually going to do that by creating a canary deployment. What we want to do right now is we're going to do another update to our greeter service, right? We're going to say knative service update, the name of our knative service or KSV as you'll see sometimes in the namespace. And now what I'm going to do is before we had the traffic 100% uh, going to the blue version and 0% going to the green version. This time we want 50% going to the blue version and 50% going to the green version. Also, let's look at what these uh, these set and off scripts are uh, scripts are doing. We have knative revision lists, so we're getting a list of the revisions we have. We currently have two, the blue and the green, right? And what we're doing here is the second row and the first column, which is going to give us a tag. Look at this. So we're going to get the name of the latest revision and we're going to say, or sorry, this is the name of the first revision in this case. I'm going to say, hey, I actually want this to have 50% of the traffic and I want the other one to have also 50%. So I say knative revision list namespace reader namespace. When I'm looking at these revisions, I see the latest revision, right? which is we tagged it as green, and I see the original uh, revision, which is that greeter service YMT LH-1, we tagged that as, group, as blue. What I wanna do is just make sure that they have 50% of the traffic going to each of those. So again, I'm saying, when I say Knative revision list namespace greeter namespace, awk second row, second row right here, right? And then the first column, so this puts this as getting 50% of the traffic, and then row three, first column. So one, two, three, first column, and we're gonna give this 50% of the traffic. Let's issue this command. Great, so we have even a new revision right now, right? We should. So let's look at this. Let's look at our, our revision. We're gonna say knative revision list in the namespace, greer namespace, just to kind of review what we just did. Now at this point, we have uh, the list of the revisions we have, the name of the service, and we have 50% of the traffic going to both of them, right? So that's exactly what we did. Now to kind of finish our lab, let's just make sure this canary deployment has worked as we expected. Uh, I've written a little shell script here that's going to do 20 curls to the, UR to the knative service list, which is gonna give us the URL. And we're just gonna go to the greet. So, we should be able to get roughly 50% um, hellos and 50% olas. So not perfect, but it's, uh, it's pretty close. So that is how in a Canary deployment, you're gonna kind of roll out those, uh, those new users, or roll those new users really on to that new version uh, instead of just releasing 100% of them at one time. Thank you so much for, uh, for being with me today on this uh, serverless deployment. and. Uh, Please uh, leave me feedback and let me know how I can improve. And uh, if you see any mistakes, feel free to do a pull request. Thank you so much.